everyone, it's Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna to be working with this candy corn folded die set from the Stamps of Life. And this die set makes an A2 sized card shaped like a candy corn. And it includes all these fun dies. And this die right here is your piece that makes your A2 size card base. It also has this piece which will cut out different color papers or card, um, pattern paper or cardstock that you can choose if you wanted to do different colors for these three parts of your candy corn. It also includes these really fun dots. So if you wanted to do some dots as your pattern, you can do, do that as well. And these are three separate pieces. It also includes two eyes, a mouth, and then there's a die that says hello and it's shadow layer. All right, so to start out, we're gonna make our card base and I'm gonna take a piece of the white cardstock. This is the Powdered Sugar Stamps of Life cardstock and I'm going to fold it in half. So I'm just gonna take my bone folder and fold it to get a nice smooth score there. And you can choose to have it open from the top or have it open from the side. So if you want it to open from the top, you'll need to place your candy corn die so that some of the die is above your score in your cardstock. If you want it to open from the side, just place your die so that some of the, the score in the cardstock is immediately to the right of your die. I'm gonna have mine open from the side. So I'm going to, before I run this through my die cut machine, I wanna make sure that I have some washi tape on here. Just wanna hold this in place so it does not move when it goes through your die cut machine. So when that comes out of the die cut, just remove your washi tape and your die, and you are left with your A2 size card base shaped like a candy corn. Now there is a flat edge here on the side, so to get rid of that flat edge, you're gonna take the same die, and you're just gonna die cut another piece of the white cardstock out of the same die and it's not folded, it's just a single piece of cardstock, which we will die cut and then place over top of that to give us our rounded edge. So when that comes out of the die cut machine, this is what you get and this will eventually go on top of that to give your complete rounded candy corn. So I'm gonna set this piece aside and this is the piece I'm gonna work with. So we'll glue that down later. So this A2 size card base you can set aside for now. So I'm choosing to use these lighter pastel colors for my candy corn. I am going with the cotton candy feel. So I'm using bubblegum, lemonade, and blue jay. So I'm not doing the traditional, everybody thinks candy corns are associated with Halloween and Thanksgiving, but candy corns are out for every holiday. So you can use this, you know, just for just about anything. It does not have to be just Halloween. So what I'm gonna do is I went ahead and um, cut apart a few pieces of the cardstock and the colors that I mentioned and I did put double-sided adhesive on the back of each one and I'm placing this is my smaller die I'm gonna be placing that on top of each layer so I'm gonna run these through separately and I'm going to place these dies within these dotted dies within the large die now if you do not have this large die around your dots then what it's gonna do, it's just gonna cut the dots into the paper. It's not gonna cut out the layer for you. So you need to have this die around your um, dots if you want to cut them out. So I'm gonna go ahead, just to make sure that everything stays in place, I'm gonna go ahead and just add some washi tape just to hold these in place so they don't move around when I put them through my die cut machine. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. Right now I did it for the bubble gum. I'm gonna, once that comes out of the die cut machine, I'm gonna run it through with the lemonade as well as with the Blue Jay cardstock. So here are all my die cut pieces. Aren't these pretty? I just love these pastel colors. And even though I'm making one card, well, I could technically make three because when I mix these up, I mean, you could have them all pink or all yellow or all blue, but I'm gonna mix these up and look at this. We're gonna have multicolor um, candy corn. So if you look at, look at this. So I can technically have 
three different multicolor cards with the die cut pieces that I just cut. That's why I went ahead and cut the whole thing. I cut a piece of cardstock big enough for each one of these three pieces. I mean, I could have just cut a small piece instead of wasting cardstock and just cut a small piece for each one of these, but I figured why not just cut the whole thing and because I can save them for another card. So isn't that pretty? So next what I'm gonna do is I am going to take the same color cardstock and just cut this piece alone, no no polka dots inside, no none of those dies inside, so just this piece alone so that I can get a background layer in the same color as the cardstock. So basically I'm gonna be putting the blue jay polka dot on top of the blue jay background, the lemonade polka dot on top of the lemonade background, and so on and so forth. So I'm gonna die cut this out of the blue jay, the lemonade, as well as out of the bubble gum. So once I have all my die cut pieces, I can then just take the polka dot layer. So for example, I'm taking the yellow polka dot layer and I'm just gonna peel back the backing. This does have the double-sided adhesive on it just to make it easier to stick. Make sure all those holes are poked out. Now, if you wanted to save these polka dots for anything, maybe you wanted to come back in and fill the holes in a different color, you could do that and you can save those and, and do that, but I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna layer these on top. And I'm gonna do that for each, for each one. So I'm gonna take the bottom yellow and Again, take all of those holes out and then just layer that on top of the solid yellow. Now, if you wanted to do different color underneath, you can also do that, but I wanted to stick with the same color. So I'm gonna go ahead and do all the rest and then I'll be back. Next, I took my inks and I just put some ink around the edges of all of these cardstock layers. So the yellow has the lemonade ink and the blue jay paper has the blue jay ink, but the bubble gum paper, I actually used the candy ink because I wanted to, it to be a little bit darker around the edges. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my candy to share stamps and I wanna incorporate these with my candy corn. So I'm stamping them onto some Spectrum Noir Ultra Smooth cardstock, and I'm just inking these up. I'm using a gray ink because I don't want to use black just because I have a pastel look going on my card, and I think black will just stand out too much. So I'm using the Cloud Stamps of Life ink just to ink these up, and I want to incorporate one more lollipop, so I'm just going to stamp that one up again. Next, I'm gonna add a fill to these lollipops. I'm gonna use my Stamps of Life candy ink, and I'm going to ink up, this is just a little swirl that came with the same set. And I'm going to just put that right in the middle. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with this one, only I'm gonna use a different color. This one's gonna have the blue jay. So that's the blue jay ink. I'm gonna use the peppermint fill and that's gonna be with the candy ink. And then I'm gonna use the lemonade ink for the inside of this candy. So I'm gonna take some of my Copic markers and I just wanna fill this in. So I'm gonna use my B00 and just come in. I'm gonna try not to color over top of this ink because this is not alcohol friendly ink and it will turn this ink a different color.
pretty that turned out. I love how that looks incorporating the inks with the Copic markers to create this pastel fun look. I really love that. So now I'm gonna take the matching dies. I do have the matching dies and I'm going to die cut all of these images out. Next, I'm gonna take this single layer candy corn that I cut out of the powdered sugar cardstock and I'm gonna go ahead and add these layers to the candy corn layer. And I'm gonna do that with some liquid glue. Look how pretty these colors are. I just love these colors together. So I went ahead and added those same layers to the other two candy corn. I just die cut this large shadow piece out of two more pieces of white cardstock and then just put those other layers on. So I can use these for other cards if I wanted to. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start decorating with the candy pieces that I cut out. So I'm thinking that I'm gonna use these lollipops down here towards the bottom and crisscross them. I also am using the sweet statement, which are these two dies. You have your shadow layer and you also have your letters, your word, sweet. And I'm using, I went ahead and put this together. So I die cut the shadow layer out of the candy card stock and the words out of the white powdered sugar cardstock and adhere those together. I was gonna use the bubble gum to match what's here, but it was really, really light and I wanted a little bit more contrast. So you can see how light that is and I think if I used the candy cardstock, it just adds a little bit more contrasting colors there. I'm also gonna put this candy, this piece of candy down here towards the bottom and I am going to have a little bow on there. And then this piece of candy will just save for the inside of the card. And then again, the sweet is gonna go across the, the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and start gluing this stuff together. have my card base and I just opened it up. I set it on my Misty and that sweet statement, it has some sentiments, which I'm gonna use the treats for you. And that's gonna go right on the inside. And I'm gonna stamp that out with some of my Stamps of Life candy ink. I'm gonna go ahead and put some hot glue on the back of this little bow. Then I'm gonna take this entire layer and I'm going to glue it down to my card base. So here's my final card. I just love how it turned out with these pastel colors. You can actually use this for a birthday card. You can use this for an Easter card or just a spring card. Obviously this is not a Halloween card, but I just love how these colors turned out. So it says sweet, and then when you open it up, it says treats for you, and it has another little candy on the inside. And so. I went ahead and just created all three cards since I had those card bases in the other colors. So I just duplicated those cards so that I had them, and I just love all of these colors. I just think they're so pretty and happy. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And be sure to subscribe for more card making tutorials from me. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.